Hello, my lovelies. It's Sako to me. If we haven't met, I write and do art and all the things. This channel is dedicated to writing. As part of Preptober, I would discuss my routine. So I start my day by getting up at anywhere between 6 and 8 a.m. Usually it depends on when my cat comes and like... Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> yeah, oftentimes he lets me sleep until 8 in the morning, which is when I prefer to get up. I make a beeline to feed the cat. Then I set my coffee to make. I take my meds at 8 a.m use the restroom, I, you know, all of that stuff. Just kind of like get my bearings. Next, often I will take my cup of coffee, a hoodie, now that it is hoodie weather, and to have a cigarette with my coffee and get some, you know, like just outside time. I do it in the morning and in the evening usually. Though now the weather is really nice, so I tend to smoke more often than I normally would. Either I will go to the TV for cartoons, I do not watch the news because because mental health and all of the stuff, or I go to my computer and I putz around on whatever I want to putz around with, be it Facebook or be it a project that I, like a personal project, as opposed to a worky project, or I play a video game, or I... It, I can do whatever I want with that time. Uh, it gives me time to drink my coffee and kind of like get the juices flowing. And then I start work at 10 a.m. That would be working on the graphic novel for my writer. Um, we have a whole team working on this project from 10 to 3. I work very diligently on this project, whatever stage that I'm at, right? So currently I'm at the coloring stage for pages one through seven of chapter four. Now I'm like at my computer with my tablet and coloring in Photoshop, right? I do my penciling and my inking in Procreate on iPad so I can sit in the living room and like watch cartoons and just draw. Then I take a break at like 1.30 or so, 1.30 to 2.30. That's my lunch break. If I've been in the studio, I will come upstairs sometimes. Eh, it depends. I might work, do like a working lunch sort of deal, or I might actually take 30 minutes to an hour of just like not being near the computer. And then I will go back to work until three, and then I will often take a nap because I am worn out, like whoa. And then I wake up between five and six, which is dinner. And then after I make dinner or after my husband makes dinner, we kind of take turns with that depending on what day it is. So we eat between nine and, or eight and nine usually sometimes 10 because he works late and I like to eat with my husband. So I, I might have a late lunch just to hold me over. It's one of the reasons why my lunch is so late. I might have another snack at like five and then we eat between eight and 10. I will take my meds, my, my evening meds, and then I will go to bed or I will stay up and play video games, work on a project for me, whatever stuff that I want to do. And when it comes to working on projects for me, I take Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. Like I kind of check in, but I don't dedicate the full five hours to work on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So that means I can work on whatever I want. And usually whatever I want involves writing. And that means either I will do the 10 to 3 writing, or I will just write all day and take breaks as I go. So it's really a week long thing. My Tuesdays, I have doctor's appointments. So my, like at 
if that kind of eat into my work time so my, I shift my five hour shift like a little bit later to encompass my doctor's appointment sometimes I will do lunch with friends I can also shift around my schedule so if I need to go somewhere or do something on a weekday then I will work a day over the weekend uh, to make up for the time turns out that in an eight hour day, like a nine to five sort of situation, person turned out they were only actually doing five hours of work a day. So instead of working all night and then sleeping all day, yeah, I'm naturally nocturnal. So uh, I'm trying to have like a day schedule because that's when my clients are available. It kind of helps to talk to my people during the day. So that is my schedule. That is my my routine. I try to be consistent, which is going really well so far. What is that? That's two hours in the morning that I can dedicate to writing. That's two hours in the evening that I can dedicate to writing. That's another two hours plus, depending on if how exhausted I am at the end of the day. So that's that's six up to six hours like a day that I can dedicate to writing during NaNoWriMo that is more than enough time to do 2,000 words but if you try this thing let me know like message me link me your video I would love to see people try this thing uh, I guess that is all I have to say I love you guys and I'll catch you on the flip side